Booker, it seems like it's been some time since we saw Brendan Steen last. He had to nurse a severe arm injury that took him several months to recover from. Nearly actually cost him his life, did that injury. But he is back here tonight in the reality of wrestling arena. You know, like this kid, Brendan Steen, uh, is the making of a star. And I said that when he first you know, stepped into the reality of wrestling. But the one thing about Steen, he needs to stay focused. I think that's his biggest problem, being able to stay focused. Nevertheless, he's making his return here to the reality of wrestling, looking for a big win tonight. This stone don't crumble. talk about the total package. I'm not referring to Lex Luger, I'm referring to Ed Stone, the brand new reality of wrestling television champion. And you see it, it says it on the back of his shirt, this stone don't crumble. This stone, I mean, you gotta give him up, give it up for uh, this kid. I mean, he took that championship off of a primetime player here in reality of wrestling. Uh, some would say the franchise in reality of wrestling, the mysterious gear, and, and that right there is a tall order. But you're looking at a, a not a not a tall man, but a big man, and it's stone. It's stone, probably though, every bit of six foot three. 275 pounds, pure muscle. You know, we had a guy back in the day, man, they used to call him Brick House Brown. That's what this guy is, man. He's a Brick House, uh, and he's ready to go. He's, he's not. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, see that? See what I'm saying? You got to be ready. You, you cannot be sleeping. You got to keep your eyes on your opponent at all times, even when they, they don't think you're looking. Especially as a champion, the target is always on your back. And Brendan Steen, Booker T, is not a stranger to the Reality Wrestling Television Championship. He has been a champion before and held that very title. I mean, Brendan Steen is a guy that knows every inch of the 18 by 18. And I'm going to tell you right now, Ed Stone is going to have to definitely pay attention. Oh, oh see, look see at what that. I'm I don't know if innovative right there. I thought he was going to uh, pull the rope down, but right there, it almost like a snap back effect. You might want to maybe call that a happy accident, but Brendan Steen is going to take what he can get when he's given up the size and strength to Edge Stone. And what is he doing now? Oh, my goodness. Wow! Edge Stone just delivered one of the biggest forearm shivers that I've ever seen, and down goes Steen. Absolutely. Wow, and going for a cover here, Stone. This might be a quick night. Cover two. Kick out there. I'm gonna, tell you, I'm gonna tell you right there, that, that, that dive right there tells me uh, one thing. Brendan Steen is gonna throw caution to the wind early here tonight. And I don't know if that, that's gonna work out in his favor against a guy like Edge Stone. Oh my goodness. Almost an open-handed smack there from the champion to the challenger. Oh! Wow! Man, I felt that all the way from over here. I mean, Edge Stone's I mean, right shoulder right into the turnbuckle post. I mean, the ring shook, man. Oh. I'll tell you, right now, Steen is looking to take this big man down by, by any means necessary. And that's the thing right there. You know, you can be a big guy. You can be in the gym training. But, but nothing replaces, you know, having that playbook. Nothing replaces knowing, like I say, every inch of that 18 by 18. And I tell you, Brenda Steen has been here in Reality of Wrestling for at least, what, six, seven years now. This guy, he's left Reality of Wrestling. He's come back to Reality of Wrestling. He's been in the best shape. He's been out of shape. This guy knows a little bit about everything. So, like I say, as well as he loves the ale. So let, let me tell you, Brendan Steen is my type of guy. Well, nevertheless, Brendan Steen, living up to his nickname, the moniker of the professional, he has picked on that left shoulder of Edge Stone, and he is not letting it go, but a big shove there from Stone, and I don't think that that was meant for anything else but to get a little breather, and you see Stone hitting that left shoulder, trying to get it to snap back into position. Maybe it's hyperextended, oh, maybe it's a bruised tendon there. Probably a pinch nerve, I'm gonna tell you. Oh, look at that, see? He couldn't even sustain the weight of Brendan Steen. Oh! I don't know, man. Right now, he's definitely, um, one should say, not himself. 
This is not the Ed Stone that we have seen over the past, you know, few months. Ed Stone has been a guy that has been very, very meticulous as far as going out there and knowing what it takes oh, to get these guys out of here. But tonight, it seems a little bit different with Steve. That's, you know what that could be? The experience factor. Steve could be a little bit more experienced than Ed Stone. Yeah, Booker T, you might be right there because the professional Brennan Steen definitely has the, the years on Edge Stone. And this is Edge Stone's first championship defense, Booker. And you got to think his mentality, he feels the pressure. Well, yeah. let me tell you something. Not, not only that, Brad. Normally, when, when you're the champion, you got everybody calling you for tickets. And look at this crowd. Everybody's out here. Everybody's cheering for, for Edge Stone. I mean, he's, he's probably got his mom out here. He's probably got his brothers, his cousins. He, he's got a lot of friends out here. And that right there, that pressure can mount to the point to where uh, one could actually uh, it, it could turn against you. And Brennan Steen now in the driver's seat, working on that left shoulder and arm the of the champion. Again, um, Ed Stone needs to move. He needs to get out of this position because that, that torque right there on the elbow is it's not a good feeling. Oh, oh look at that. That's the Russian wax sleep. That could be it. That could be it. Cover one, two, and we have. Oh, my goodness, Booker T. I thought that we were a half a second away from crowning a new champion. Let me tell you something. I've never seen anybody kick out of that finisher right there from. Brendan Steen that tells oh, man. me Edge Stone is still in the game. We know what Brendan Steen is looking for. He's going to try to hit Edge Stone with that headbutt. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Stone, though, catching him on the second rope. What is he going to do, Booker T? Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. A fallaway slam from the second rope. Wow. And you saw both men's bounce, bodies bounce off of the canvas. I'll tell you the strength it took right there from... Ed Stone to be able to pull that move off right there. Being in dire straits, like, like I say there again, it tells me being champion, this man is ready to do exactly what it takes to, to, to stay champion. Wait a minute there. Oh, picking Brennan Steen up and sending him into the corner. Oh, beautiful there. But did he do any damage to that left shoulder? Or is adrenaline just kicking in? Oh. Oh, look at the big man right now. But Steen, he's hoping, nope. Thought he was going to hold on to that bottom rope, but Steen able to reverse nevertheless. And can he get him for the... Oh, beautiful. That's got to be it. Welcome Cover. to Stonehenge. Cover one, two, and a... Wait a minute. You got to be kidding. That was a two count. I thought I saw the referee's hand hit three, but it looks like oh, Brendan Steen on a split second got it up. Let me tell you something. Brendan Steen, he kicked out right at three, but Ed Stone got him in his crosshairs right now, and it looked like it's going to be over with real soon. Oh! Looked like he was going for that blockbuster. But not hitting it, and this might be Brendan Steen's opening. And look, capitalizing on that left arm again. Wow, that, that was a bad fall right there for him. For Ed Stone, I mean, he looked like it could have been a collarbone or anything could have could have been uh, out of place right there, out of position. Bad, bad, bad fall. And Brennan Steen, is he going to hit the headbutt now? He did. He got the headbutt. Oh, man, he might have got a whole lot too much of it. Uh, he might have knocked himself out. That is the risk accompanied by that headbutt. And Ed Stone gets the wow. left boot. Great ring awareness by the current television champion. Yeah, that, I must say, Clinton Steen, he didn't do anything wrong right there. I mean, in the positioning, uh, Ed Stone just happened to land in the right spot at the right time to get that boot over the bottom yeah. rope. I tell you, uh, very, very lucky for Ed Stone. Stone has, I think, been given more of a challenge than he was ready for. And wait a minute. Brennan Steen slipping, and there's that blockbuster! That's it! Cover one, two, three, Ed Stone! Beautiful. Still, your reality of wrestling television well, champion. I tell you, Ed Stone had to put in work tonight to hold on to that television champion. But, but I tell you what, that's what champions are made of here in reality of wrestling. Booker T, I think on another night, this could have been Brendan Steen's opportunity to get that television championship. He gave Stone perhaps his biggest competition yet. No, no, there again, uh, stock went up for Steen. And you can tell Steen has been, been having, you know, one thing on his mind, and that's recapturing the television championship. But tonight just was not this night. Ed Stone. 
in front of his family, in front of the world, in front of the reality of wrestling faithful, is still the Television Champion.